Put yourself in the shoes of an engineer who is ready to work with a strange and difficult metal for a week. Titanium seems like the perfect material for building because it is strong for its weight, doesn't rust, and doesn't harm living things. But working with titanium can go from being a dream to a scary task very quickly. This video will go into detail about how hard it is to work with and machine titanium. It will show you why this amazing metal is both a marvel and a headache in engineering. Tricks of titanium's heat-related features. Titanium's ability to conduct heat is one of the first problems experts have to deal with when they work with it. Titanium doesn't conduct heat very well compared to other metals. The heat conductivity range for pure titanium is 15, 22 watts per meter Kelvin, but it can be as low as 5, 6 watts per meter Kelvin for its alloys. On the other hand, carbon steel conducts heat between 30 and 54 watts per meter Kelvin. Because of this difference, the heat that is made during cutting does not escape quickly enough. A big problem is the buildup of heat between the metal piece being cut and the cutting tool. This heat not only speeds up the wear on the tools, but it also changes how they are used. The cutting tool gets weaker and less hard as it gets hotter, which makes the problem worse. Titanium is very thermally stable, which makes things even more difficult because it doesn't soften much at high temperatures. So, the cutting tool runs into a tough material that won't bend. This causes the tool to wear out faster and need to be replaced more often, which raises the cost of doing business. How tough and bendy titanium is mechanically. Titanium's mechanical qualities make things even harder. Because it is tough and flexible, it takes a lot of force to break. Titanium likes to cut into long, continuous strips when it is machined, which can put stress on the machinery used for the job. This strain can damage the surface because it hardens under stress, which lowers the accuracy and quality of the final product. Problems with getting accurate results. Titanium has a relatively low Young's modulus, which makes it even harder to machine. When the pressure from the machining is taken away, the low modulus number causes an elastic snapback effect. This happens in aluminum in a way that is comparable, but not as strong. It can be hard to get accurate machining standards because of this elasticity, so engineers have to use high-tech tools and methods to fix the problem. Reactivity of chemicals. Titanium is difficult to work with and machine because it reacts with chemicals. Titanium tends to take in foreign atoms from its surroundings, especially when new surfaces are revealed during machining. This can cause tool wear and decline, which lowers the machine's efficiency and shortens its life. Making an oxide film. Titanium quickly makes a protective oxide film when it comes into contact with oxygen. This layer protects against corrosion, but it makes processes harder to do, like forging. Often, work has to be done in an inert gas setting, like an argon chamber, to avoid problems that can happen when an oxide film forms. This requirement calls for a lot of preparation work, which can make running costs go up by a lot. Galling and pollution. When titanium and other metals, especially steel, come together, they create pollution, which is another problem. Titanium can cause galling when it comes into touch with steel. Galling is a type of wear where two sliding surfaces stick together because of friction. This could cause material to move from the steel tool to the titanium part, which would lower the quality of the surface and weaken the finished product. Concerns about safety and fire risks. Titanium poses major safety risks because it is very flammable when it is made. Class D fires can start on their own and be caused by titanium swarf, which is made up of small chips and bits that are left over after machining. The temperatures of these fires are very high and they don't go out with everyday means. Normal fire extinguishers like water, carbon dioxide or nitrogen don't work and might even make the fire worse. Specialized safety measures for fires. For titanium fires, 
special class D fire extinguishers are needed because they pose a risk. These fire extinguishers work well on metal fires because they use dry powder agents. To handle the risks that come with machining titanium, strict safety rules must also be put in place. These rules include using protective gear and properly containing and getting rid of titanium swarf. The need for such specialized safety steps makes the costs of doing business higher. What titanium is really used for in high performance situations? Even though dealing with titanium can be difficult in many ways, its special properties make it essential for high performance uses. The aerospace business is a good example. Titanium is an important material for building airplanes because it has a high strength to weight ratio, doesn't rust, and doesn't break down at high temperatures. Case study of the Airbus. A 380. The Airbus A380 is a marvel of modern engineering. Its frame and parts are made of about 70 tons of titanium. The metal's ability to be both light and strong is a big part of how well and efficiently the plane works. Titanium is used in the A380, which shows how valuable the metal is, even though it is hard to work with. Applications in medicine and industry. Titanium is also very important in the medical area because it is biocompatible. Due to its ability to fuse with human flesh without harm, it is often utilized in implants and prosthetics. Titanium is also strong and doesn't rust, which makes it useful in many industry settings, such as chemical processing and marine environments. It is definitely hard to work with titanium, but the benefits are great. To make the most of the metal's amazing qualities, engineers and machinists have to figure out how to deal with its chemical reactivity, safety risks, and complicated thermal and mechanical properties. Titanium is a very useful material in many high-performance industries, even though it is hard to work with and has high costs to run. It is strong, light, resistant to rust, and biocompatible. Titanium's story is one of persistence and new ideas. As engineers continue to work through its problems, they push the limits of material science and engineering, which leads to progress that helps many other fields. When you see a fast plane like the Airbus A380 or get a medical treatment, think about the long and difficult process titanium went through to become an important part of modern technology. We move forward in the field of material engineering by accepting the difficulties of working with titanium. This pushes the limits of what is possible and opens the door for future innovations. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.